Ohio State comes in once beaten. And the Buckeyes now must play the role of spoiler in Pasadena. The Rose Bowl is what we prepare for all year. That's what all the running is for. That's what all the practicing is for. Now we're in the Rose Bowl. It's time to go out and do it. Yeah, she was going to be a great Ohio State football team who's going to be hungry, fresh off the line. If we don't have an opportunity to win the championship, we're going to try to spoil somebody else's opportunity. Arizona State's perfect season means their title hopes are still alive. It's been a decade since their last reign. The Phoenix again is ready to soar, eager to bring the glory back to the Valley of the Sun. This game is all it stands between the Sun Devils and a season of destiny. Me and my team, this game means we're finally one step away from reaching our ultimate goal, and that's to win the Rose Bowl. To be remembered as part of that, that game is something that me and my teammates will remember for the rest of our lives. It's the Rose Bowl, the granddaddy, and this year the stakes have been raised. Our scene at Pasadena now as you look live at the first of two major showdowns that will determine the national champion. Arizona State thinking very large in this game against Ohio State. And then, of course, tomorrow in New Orleans, the Nokia Sugar Bowl. ABC Sports welcomes you to the granddaddy. It's the Rose Bowl. The Buckeyes of Ohio State against the Sun Devils of Arizona State. On an overcast day in Pasadena. Light rain earlier today, but no moisture right now. Happy New Year. Welcome, everybody. I'm Brad Musburger with the coach, Dick Vermeil. So, Dick, Arizona State thinking about a national championship. What about this exciting team? Well, they are a national championship caliber offensive football team. And from midseason on, they've played that way defensively. They have the ability to win it all. And what about the Ohio State Buckeyes? Sorely disappointed about losing again to Michigan. I know it. They tapered off at the last couple games offensively. Defensively, one of the better teams in the country. Opening up the game plan offensively. Look for them to be more aggressive offensively. And, of course, John Cooper's record in bowl games is not good either. Only one in six. He wants to do something about that right here today against Arizona State. And just a short time ago, the president of the Tournament of Roses, Bill Johnstone, Jr., led the entourage onto the field in celebration of this great pageantry. Bill there on the left-hand side with his lovely wife. And there is our queen, Queen Halperty, who will attend the University of Southern California next year. And two very celebrated grand marshals, Shannon Miller on the right, and the great Carl Lewis on the left-hand side. So our stage is set, and now we'll turn it over to Arizona State and Ohio State in a moment at the Rose Bowl. Well, the Rose Bowl about to begin. And we'll get down to midfield now. The referee from the Big East is Terry Monk, and we will have the coin flag. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we have a special coin minted with Arizona State on one side, Ohio State on the other. Ohio State, you're the visiting team today, so we'll have you call the coin. Ms. Miller and Mr. Lewis will toss the coin. We'll allow it to hit the ground. Call it while it's in the air. Ohio State. Ohio State. Arizona State has won the toss. Would you like to toss now or the second half? You want to receive. You want to receive. You want to receive. Ohio State, you'll be kicking. Which goal would you like to defend? Defend that, defend that goal. What's interesting about that is that Arizona State won the coin flip and did not defer. Most teams, the majority of them, when they win the coin flip, will defer in college football, and that means usually that they go on defense. Jake the Snake, plumber number 16, didn't hesitate. Give us the football. We want to go right to work against this Buckeye defense. So we'll see how that pans out. Some very talented fellas from Columbus, Ohio. Bruce Snyder grew up in the shadow of the Rose Bowl. You can only wonder what his emotions are. The first time he tried to get into this stadium, he volunteered to drive a float in the parade because he knew there was a free ticket at the end of the parade. What he didn't know is that the parade doesn't end until the second half of the football game. And so by the time he got here, it was already a blowout. He won't miss the opening kickoff this time. And here's his man. Five times Arizona State has fallen behind 
and in this stadium early in October twice they trailed UCLA by 21 points and then in the fourth quarter Jake the Snake was magnificent he threw for a touchdown he ran for a touchdown he caught a pass on a throwback and wound his way into the left end zone for a touchdown it's a team that is much greater than its parts and on the other side you can wonder what the emotions are for John Cooper here's a man who 10 years ago brought the Sun Devils of Arizona State into the Rose Bowl and who did they play and who did they beat Michigan that's one of the reasons why he was hired back at Columbus and now he brings his second team in here today nervous his coaching staff has to be juggled for this particular game two members of his staff are going to move on to become head coaches now he'll watch the reason why as you see Mike Jacobs on the left hand side he will call plays today Walt Harris will be on the right and he of course is the new head coach at the University of Pittsburgh he has it was early in his freshman season that he stepped up as the starting quarterback and that makes this Rose Bowl his 40th consecutive start with 64 career touchdown passes at Tempe. He's going to get the first carry. It's going to be a short setup pass, and it is complete to the 42-yard line. Lindsey Jackson, the wide receiver, as we meet the backs and receivers. Lindsey's number 83. Battle, of course, is eight. Keith Poole is the favorite receiver of Jake. He's number three. Steve Bush, he was injured earlier this season, number 82, a good tight end. And Jeff Hawk. Wait till you see the incredible Hulk when he's on the field. Doing right now, they're going to use their entire package early. The incredible Hulk is short of that first down, but he kept going. He just refuses to yield. And on the second effort behind this offensive line, he reached out toward that first down marker on Roque. But keep an eye on Gray Rugamer, number 51, over on the other side, the right tackle. He has a Rose Bowl legacy to follow here. That story will develop today. Kyle Murphy, number 56, a very good guard. Dan Cassetto, offensive coordinator, talking with him. He's very excited about the approach for him to hand the ball off. Which they do. It's battle. Hole, first down, close to midfield. Kelly was there, along with the strong safety number 13, Damon Moore. Now, field, good one. Fakus 92, Brabel 94. Luke Fickle is a story. He's next to Winfield Garnett. Fickle 99 has an injured pec muscle. And so he was somewhat questionable. Include the freshman of the year. Greg Belisari, the veteran number 30, along with Ryan Miller, are outside the big cat. Andy Katzenmoyer, familiar number. And there you see Belisar. There is number 45, last worn here at the Rose Bowl by a fellow by the name of Archie Griffin. Sun Devils, they're at the Ohio State 47-yard line. Runner in trouble, going down. And the big cat, Andy Katzenmoyer, rolls in with the game's first sack. The ball at the 45-yard line here. Snake's going to throw the swing to battle. Battle just beyond the original line of scrimmage. And Arizona State forced the punt. Brent, we had a little intermittent drizzle, and now we've got it once again. Now, the footing so far is very, very good. But consider this fact. In NCAA rules, they mandate that you can only use a half-inch spike. That's only this size. This is a shoe that was used in the 49ers game. You see how deep they are? If it continues to rain, footing could be an issue. All right, Jack. So here is Stanley Jackson, 10-0 and 0 as a starting quarterback. And you can see where he stood as far as pass efficiency is concerned in the Big Ten. Happy before the day's over. Matt Colhoun, the other fullback. David Boston, Demetrius Stanley are the wideouts, nine and three. Split backs. Jackson took off, and he'll go down at the 13-yard line as the Sun Devils brought heat right up. Brought them in and he had no place to step up inside. They forced him up inside. Now you see the maroon jersey just collapse that. And Rogers on the other side that time, Brent. So the defense of the Sun Devils, underrated all year. This is a unit that shut out Nebraska. Jackson takes off, nothing doing. He is down at the 12-yard line. Now with J.R. Redmond's eyes back deep now. Standing right at midfield. This could be a good field position for the Sun Devils. Bartholomew was able to boom it out of there. 
did very well with that punt as it rolls dead at the 41 yard line. But Cooper must be concerned about the Buckeye offense. You're looking at Keith Poole's older brother, Mark, a promising athlete in high school. He was the man that his little brother looked up to until a tragic automobile accident in high school made him a paraplegic and confined him to a wheelchair. Keith always looked up to his older brother, Mark, and then when he saw the accident, he said, I'm quitting football. And it took his older brother, Mark, to convince Keith Poole to come back and play at ASU. And the way he did it, he said simply, don't waste the talent that God has given you. And Jack, Keith has certainly come on from that inspiration. These storylines are certainly going to concern the two corners. Sean Springs, number 24, and Ty Howard, number two. They play man-to-man. -man. They're down and nine. Battle set way behind Jake. It's throwing blitz, and there was contact in the neutral zone. Offensive line coach as well. Dead ball foul. Contact by the defense. Five-yard penalty. It will remain third down. And he won't disappoint him. What a one incomplete. And he had his wide receiver, Kenny Mitchell, wide open, and he dropped it. That Arizona State expects with the ISO fullback. Short drop, penalty flag is down. Pass was complete to D. Miller on first down, but there was a penalty flag. Now the line, and there is one of the most celebrated linemen ever in college football on the left, Orlando Pace, along with Murphy Porter, Daniels, Goldston, and Pace is matched up against nothing but quickness. Double tight end, Lumpkin. They want to run at him in the double tight end set. And it's Pearson before they're able to get him out of bounds. He celebrated All-Americans, but the Nebraska Cornhuskers will tell you that these fellas can play. Bernstein, Sueda, Amy, and of course, Rogers, who was a monster that night at Tempe. Three safeties. Then we have Smith, Vonder Ahi, their leading tackle, and Pat Tillman. And Rot Lyman, and they chase him with a tight end. And now it's Pepe Pearson, left side. Buckeyes are did. signaling first down. 42-yard line. And it's Jackson. They sprint him to the left. Good hunter. Jackson short of the first down. Out of bounds at the 47-yard line. And Derek Smith again in active pursuit of seat. Pressure defense. Here they come. Safeties. Short drop. Fires high. Complete first down. Buckeyes at the Sun Devils. 45-yard line. And he put the ball back in D. Miller's hands. The sophomore from Springfield, Ohio, with his second reception of the game. And Sauer was the corner. One and six in bowl games. First and ten at the Sun Devils, 45. Bacon in the round. Jackson tries to buy time, and now he'll hook it. Good runner, 40, 35. Cut back. Down hard at the 26-yard line. Safety's coming up, getting on the run. See, they took the X post, ran him down the hole. They had it, but the pressure, he could not set up and throw it. See him go down the hole? There he is. All he has to do is throw it over the shoulder. He couldn't do it. Good pressure, but good scrambling ability right there by Mr. Jackson. This is what the coaches like about it. This is what Mike Jacobs, as an offensive coordinator, understands. He had Major Harris. He's now just how mobile Jackson is. Play fake. Fires open. Man! complete to Keller and Keller's inside the five-yard line see that's really tough on the outside linebacker play action first will freeze that linebacker see that little token fake to the left side of your screen you'll see there he is coming out of the backfield the linebacker bit on that action fake tough not to do it they do it every Sunday you know he was slipping too wasn't he folks side and now they come up with a third and nine Jackson with good time, couldn't find anybody, and he's got to take off. Fires to the corner, and the Buckeyes wait for the signal down there. Yes, touchdown! There was a conference down there before the official signaled that David Boston had made a legal catch in that corner of the end zone. Here at the 1997 Rose Bowl. See Boston doing a real good job of working with the quarterback, and, and they coach that kind of stuff. There he's got that flip foot in. Good job. NFL no good. NCAA touchdown. And good officiating. 
That official did not guess on that side of the field. He waited for help. And another official said, yes, Boston's foot was inbounds. That's a touchdown. Timeout at the Rose Bowl. Five years ago, he took California to Orlando and the Florida Citrus Bowl. Now it is second down and 11 for his offense, trying to get on track. And Plummer on the sprint is down at the 15-yard line. Can't roll in again. Boy, can he track it down. See, no one can get to him because they're all the offensive linemen are covered by defensive linemen. Good job. The only thing he didn't do fundamentally sound was get his hat across the bow. And this young man, 245 pounds, and can he run? And you no longer have to call him a freshman. He's just one heck of a linebacker. On third and 15, Plummer in trouble again, the Buckeyes. Pinkus was coming from the backside. Belisari was there, too. There are pressuring Fred Puggins, defensive coordinator. That's causing confusion. Now they're talking to the coordinators on the sideline about solving some problems. Fred Puggins said, hey, we're going after him. That's what he said. The only touchdown we've given up in the red zone is we've played zone. He said, we gave up two touchdowns against Purdue. The first two times they touched the ball, we were in zone. Today, we're going after him with man. Austin back deep. Anderson steps over to the left. Made a good pickup on that snap. Neither of the snaps have been very good the last two. And Boston now weaves his way back into Sun Devil territory at the 44-yard line. Arizona State by seven here. And they will attack from the 43-yard line. Jackson sets the screen this time, and Keller has been very active here in the first quarter. It is now becoming clear that Coach Jacobs and the other assistants made a decision to use the fullback as the key man here in this game. The play Arizona State. Second down and four, and Jackson has to feel confident about his situation now. This is Pearson. And that appears to be a first down, depending on where the spot is. You can see the main man in the pregame game plan is slotted to the right. Jackson, though, will go short side, complete to the 30-yard line. And you can see just how quickly Richardson moved up from that safety spot and unloaded on that third wide receiver. Let's, here he comes. You got to see it. that. Friedman, and it was a bright night experience for Stanley back at the 42. A senior quarterback should see that coming. That Ricky Boyer, number 24, the third wideout, goes in motion. The Sun Devils try to open things out. They flare it down a battle with a great move and battle to the 31-yard line and a first down for the Sun Devils. The side and Michael Martin on the Sun Devils sideline watching his teammates. J.R. Redmond replaces them and J.R. Redmond, not too bad either, pounds to the 40-yard line. There they go, running their version of the isolation pullback lead. Big old Jeff Polk, number 44. He goes in there and takes on Katzenmore. Was Power, but they send a tight end. Kendall over the other direction. Play fake, and Jake's going to roll left. Tight end to safety belt. Tries to throw the block, and Jake's down at the 45-yard line. Mike Grable, 94, looks awfully quick coming inside out on that to make the play. Yes, they made the first down. Both teams. Movement. The hard count's getting them. They better stay with it. The fellas in the striped shirts dominating here for the last minute or so. Play fake by Plummer. Fires high. Great catch by the tight end Bush. First down, Sun Devils. There's a young man who missed several games this year because of an injury. Steve Bush, the senior tight end from Phoenix, Arizona, and he just reached up and snapped it out of the air like a wide receiver. Sun Devils come back with battle on a first down running play, and battle gains eight yards before he is out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Ty Howard, the corner on that side, and battle. He just keeps showing you that dash when he gets to the corner. Side. On the short side, slot man now will come back. They're in the fair front now. Everybody covered. They Wow. Katz and Moyer comes up big on that play. He should make that play. Nobody can get to him with that scheme. See, he's free to slide right in there and pop him. But when he hits you, he normally has his knees bent, his back straight, and he'll knock you on your back. Battle on third and two. 
He flares over the middle and first down Sun Devils Devin Kendall the senior tight end from Fremont California so on this drive the senior quarterback Jake Plummer involves two tight ends Jeff Wilson checks into that defensive line on second down pump fake Plummer now goes in zone against the nickel man great catch touchdown oh what a grab by Ricky Boyer Then the use of motion by a receiver, loosening up man-to-man -man coverage. A little pump fake right there. Boyer did a good job of looking back over his outside shoulder. And he is a CIF sprint champion, so if he has to turn it on and make it, whoa, my gosh, that didn't look like he caught the football. I'm not sure he caught that football. Woo. Huh? And who are you here, ladies and gentlemen, is from the folks from Columbus. They're watching it on the big board out here, and they see that ball touch the ground, too. Two things could have been called. Pass interference could have been called as well. So the first big break of this Rose Bowl game goes to Arizona State. We're tied at seven. Stanley Jackson will come with their base play. Puppy Pearson to the 40-yard line, and that is seven yards on first down before Pat Tillman, the linebacker from... Now, take a look at that hairdo there. So that he hasn't had a haircut since he was in high school. He's a 3.87 student, and obviously he spends much more time in the library than he ever did the barbershop. Play the game, Brent. Second down and three. Fullback offset to the right, and they'll run Pearson in that direction. Lumpkin was also over there. The Buckeyes brought power as they rush ahead for a first down. That checks in for his first series, and here's the draw fake. They usually use Jackson on the draw play. Now, Stanley faking, got a man open, got him at the 25-yard line, incomplete. Buster Tillman going to argue that he had control. This way, a scramble drill. Here he is to the left side of your screen. That looks like a better catch than the other one. <laughs> looks well, like he had it. Yeah, he looked like he had his hands under it, but I don't know anymore. Pressure, pressure. Bouncer, Demetrius Stanley had run a pattern and was coming across the field at the 35-yard line and the pass low, and now the Buckeyes will hunt it back to Arizona State. <laughs> Second and ten. Fires complete and short of the first down because of Ty Howard, the corner man over there, working against Jackson. Sounds good. I gave Ty Howard a little bit too much credit, and the Sun Devils get a favorable spot. And now Boyer squeezes back through for five yards with Rabel and Moore hanging on. And so Boyer with a first down run. Dick back outside spread formation. The toss fumble battle goes back. Loose ball, still loose, and now he's got it. He regains control, and for a moment, it looked like Luke Fickle might recover the free football. You know, Belisari up on the line defensively, and he's coming. And so, too, was Kelly, the safety blitz. When Belisari moved up on the right side, they were able to pick him up, and that just allowed Kelly to come right up the middle. He'll be set behind Calhoun. Joe Germain is in at quarterback so it's a new offensive set and here comes Wiley breakout speed 11 yards on his first carry of the game and Simmons finally brings him down and here's a young man who could have quite a future at that tailback spot number five he's a freshman he's from Spring Valley California there's second down for the Bucks. they move the tight end over on Derek Rogers they've been attacking 59 with the tight end Wiley Smashes right straight ahead to the 45-yard line. So Rogers is on the other side, away from pace on this third down. He's picked up Boston short of the first down. Fourth down for the Buckeyes. And here comes Bartholomew off the sideline. It's the first half of the Rose Bowl. Luke Fickle is out of the lineup right now. Jake Plummer on the first down. Swing Boyer in a foot race with Grable who brought him down from behind. You see what I'm talking about, Brent? That quickness? You know, he is responding to what he sees in his butt. 
Now Boyer will come in motion behind Jake. And this is battle again. Far outside comes off of Moore and Sean Springs. Penalty flag comes down at the 30-yard line. Taking him out and using a better pass rusher against three wide receiver attack. Thanks, Matt. Five-yard penalty against the defense. Assess from the end of the run. Repeat second down. Bucks. On a quick count. Plummer to pool, incomplete, and Sean Spring, number 24, comes up big again. The Buckeyes blitz Kelly again, and Plummer slips away from it. Battles toward the first down, Arizona State. Now there is that veteran Jake Plummer. The bear front, look at everybody in the line of scrimmage is covered by a defender. They all bring, now they bring the safety 34, the linebacker. Uh, number 92, yeah, they're right there, Matt Mink is stunned over into the play. They're going to... Without a huddle right now, and on first down, Plummer fires incomplete at the 45-yard line. <laughs> Kelly comes up big on Bush, the tight end. Yeah. Plummer, incomplete. They will punt it away. Again. But inbounds. Then came the most controversial moment of this Rose Bowl. Was this a touchdown? The officials gave it to Ricky Boyer on the diving catch, but did he have control or was he losing it as he went down? You be the official. Regardless, it counts, and Arizona State and Ohio State are tied. Back with more after this message and a word from our ABC station. About a 7-7 seven to seven football game, but no turnovers. Time of possession slightly in favor of Arizona State. But rushing yards for Arizona State, 17 yards. They come into this ball game averaging 248. Other key thing is that Poole has not caught a ball here in the first half, and he's their key guy. Boy, the Buckeyes. This guy right here has been the spark, though, in the first half. Quarterback scrambling ability, moving, throwing the ball downfield. Calhoun and Pearson, the running backs. It's like a pressure defense, and it is. They pick up Rodgers, incomplete. Jermaine looking for the tight end. D.J. Jones coming off the line, but the pressure was there. Fourth down and eight. Bartholomew. Now Redmond from the 35 slips at the 45 yard line. Well, Dick Roger. Arizona State opens with a power formation. They're going to pound away, and Battle picks up almost five yards. I guarantee you, Dan Cassetto, offensive line coach, coordinator, went in there and said, listen, you big jug butts, we haven't blocked anybody yet. Let's come off the ball and get after him. We don't have to be fancy, call counters and reverses. Let's get after him. That time, they came off the ball like they meant it. Coach getting fired up. Well, I know Cassetto's attitude. I, I've been around that guy. He'll get after him. Second and five battle brings the end around, and it's Poole, midfield, first down, inside the 40-yard line. So Poole may have been shut out as a receiver, but they'll find a different way to put the football in his hand. Remember, he too is capable of throwing the ball. Here comes the blitz from right Kelly. Screen, right They're going screen. back to Bush on that screen, 35. Good call against the safety blitz. And Bush powers inside the 15, and now the penalty flags come flying. Dead ball is the call. It's 15 yards. The end of the run, it'll still be a first down, Arizona State. Not be around if he didn't have somebody to watch play football. You know, we're going to have some seismic hits between Hawk and Katzen Moyer before this baby's over. Battle sprinting out. Winfield made the first hit as he came across the nickelback. The nickelback. Second down. This is Paul getting his carry, and what effort he showed. He came away from Mr. Frable that time, didn't he? He kept driving. Well, the unit. On third and one, goal line look by the Buckeyes, which means that Orlando Pace is in. Get away from number 13, Damon Moore. Damon Moore has done that all year, Brent. Not a great pass defender, just a real fine tackler. He loves those situations. Jake Plummer is the quarterback. It is fourth and short. Nice. 
if he kicks it, a 37-yarder. And Nice boosts the Sun Devils into their first lead of the day. Who knows how big that might be in Arizona State's drive for what they hope will wind up with a national championship. The Sun Devils lead it by three. Goldston side. Fake, Jermaine time, and a diving attempt by Stanley. Makes the catch there at the 29-yard line. Over on him on the left, Jermaine gonna fake again. Comes to the middle, cut on the fly, the Buckeyes break Stanley. 72-yard touchdown. This quarterback controversy is history. Demetrius Stanley. Demetrius Stanley right there on Jason Simmons, number 10. See, man to man, he gave him just a little bit wrinkling. You see that nice burst to the inside. No safety help inside, so the quarterback, Jermaine, could throw the ball away from the defender and pull him across the field. And here he is, and Orlando Pace did a nice job on Rodgers. It was Out Orlando Pace dropping back to pick up Derrick Rodgers on the left side. And as a result, the Buckeyes have regained the lead at the Rose Bowl. Five down linemen right here. That meant they took the free safety Fright Night out of there, Friedman. That leaves three deep. So they get one on one here, one on one, one there, and here's the touchdown. Simmons is all alone. No inside help. He should try to cover him inside a little bit more. See, no safety there. Five down linemen rushing. He beats him right there. Big, big play. As you said, longest one of the year. Fake. Jake rolls the pocket, gonna get forced back the other way. Cats and Warriors picked off, and Plummer dives for a first down. Great block on the big cat that time, and Plummer was roaming free. You guys on this Ohio State team. First down for Plummer, Redmond Skelly. Blitz Winfield Nickel Man. So that time, Fred Puggage decides to blitz the Nickel Man. And second down and 20. Winfield coming again, picked up by the running back. But that freed the way for the big cat to make the stop. He was right. Plummer. That Boyer, the motion man. Oh, our short Woo! first down. And I want to tell you, Winfield has come to him. He and he's an outstanding receiver. In motion to the short side for Jermaine. Swedak picked up. Now the middle of the defense all over Jermaine. Bondarahi in there on top of him, too. So they work quietly into the rotation. But Pearson's back now. Jermaine steps away and down he goes. Number 94 won't let him get away. Bartholomew. Oh, not a good one. And Redmond's going to let it go out of bounds. And they're coming up to mark this ball on the other side of the 50. Sean Springs and the Buckeyes. Boyer with three catches leads the way for Bruce Snyder and the Sun Devils. The Sun Devils in their title drive down by four with Springs doing a whale of a job defensively. The running back, Battle checks back in. And now we will have the Big East crew sorted Dead out ball here. Foul. Illegal substitution, 12 men on the field against the defense, five yard penalty. It'll remain first down. The Devils want a different set of plays when Winfield, the nickel man, is on the field. Base 4-3, and Plummer straight back. Fires middle. Blue can hold on at the 12-yard line. Good coverage outside. Excellent free safety play by Kelly working inside out back there. And boy, I'll tell you, Poole really took it in the chops. It's been thrown on a coach over here on the sideline. And Bruce is saying, come on, move it on. Dead ball. Personal That's what it is. That's on the Ohio State bench. 15 yards penalty. First down. This is battle into the heart of Buckeye land. You know, and what a shame to waste a great block. And now Jeff Paul Brent got a devastating block, but it didn't matter. Someone else broke down. <laughs> Look at that guy. Look at those arms on bench presses, 475, just about 10 pounds more than you can handle. Get a one yard. Look at, look at those arms. 
I couldn't lift one of his arms. <laughs> Got a tattoo on there, too. Boyer, the third wideout. You can bet they'll come after him. They're in that bare front right now. Yeah, here they come. Fire had one-on-one pool. Right, picked picked off. Cuts and Boyer, the big cat rolling down to our Rumble, rumble, rumble. Wants a block from the safety, and there's going to be a penalty flag. The penalty flag is thrown back at the 40-yard line. The Buckeyes 40 on this play. An illegal block below the waist during the return. First and 10, Ohio State. In the slant pattern to the top of your screen. One, two, three, slant. Throw it in there. Good drive on it right there. Knocks it back right there. Casimora takes it off the turf. And this young man can run. Now he's looking for a convoy to get some help. Kelly, 34, going to try to help him there. Let me see the end of this. Now watch. The difference is on Sunday, if a safety had spotted a quarterback coming over, oh, baby, it ended up in lights out when you get a free shot at the quarterback like Sweda again gets off the ball. They want to set the screen against it to Keller, and Rodgers was in on that tackle that time for the Sun Devils. Now the Sun Devils show pressure at the line. They're coming. Here's the sack. Fright Knight in on top after Smith hit him first. And Jermaine is sacked at the five-yard line. Here he comes. They can't pick everybody up there. Collapsing inside. He couldn't get away from it. Then old Fright Knight, he is a free safety. Not on Bartholomew from the left defensive side for Arizona State out of his own end zone. Oh, he gets a good one, too. Here's Redmond. Another penalty flag. Illegal block in the back. Yes, the returning team. Ten yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First and ten. Last play of the quarter. Plummer. Complete. He puts the ball in the hands of Lindsey Jackson. Quarterback, take a look at the hit delivered by Friedman on Jermaine. And over on the sideline, Jermaine has been receiving medical attention as he was slammed to the turf. He came into the game, we are told by Jack Arud, with a cut already under the chin, and that hit by Friedman reopened it. Now it's a Sun Devils ball. We start the final quarter. They trail it, and they're bid to be a national champion by four. Here is Battle, the running back, and he makes it to the 42-yard line. That's a first down quarter. First downs, 10 to 13. Second down and 10. Boyer goes in motion. Left slot, they'll drop it off down to Battle. Alley. Bounces off of Moore to the 31-yard line. This is well off a of pool. Oh, and Kelly stepped into that neutral zone. Battle is hit. Hit quickly. Jake Plummer's doing a good job of holding his, the snap count. They use an erratic count. It's not rhythmic, so he can hold it. And that got the guys across the line of scrimmage. As long as you don't move yourself offensively, you're all right. You know, I'm having a hard time <laughs> believing what I'm seeing. I mean, wasn't he standing and wasn't oh, there movement in the neutral zone? Yeah. The, the helmet was over the ball. Guys are upsetting, or shouldn't we say upsetting, they were the favorites of this game. Low hunt, trying to get it out of bounds. Trying to get coverage downfield, and it is out of bounds. Beautifully done by Anderson. Rolling out at the six-yard line. The Sun Devils, they smell that blood right now. Sweda tries to get across. Pepe's got the hole on the right-hand side. Now, from the backside, he's brought down, but not before he's bailed him out with a 12-yard run. Derek Rogers chasing him down, and up at Pittsburgh. There's and there you see the great veteran Hollis down on the side, was on some Georgia staffs down there. Coach Phil Snow. So second down. Pepe Pearson can't get away from Rodgers. There's the speed. He brings him down. Tackle for a loss at the 16-yard line. Buckeyes don't want to turn it over down here. Jermaine short drop. 
puts it into Boston's hands, and he'll go down at the 19-yard line. That's 14 to 27. One touchdown, but the one interception. The big cat, Cats and Moyer. Redmond is the running back. The toss is to Redmond behind Paul. Paul cuts down Katz and Moyer, and Redmond is down at the 35. Well, that's a gain of four yards. Third down and two. Boyer in motion. Redman and he stopped short of it as Kelly, the safety, broke across and broke up the play before it developed. The 1997 Rose Bowl brought to you by Honda. Vehicles designed to help simplify your life. Merrill Lynch for clients around the world. We make a difference. The difference is Merrill Lynch. Visa is everywhere you want to be. And Pizza Hut making it great again and again. And again, the story. Jermaine on the sideline for the Buckeyes. Stanley Jackson, the starter in this game, now returns. A very tough spot for Jackson. Coming out from the Buckeyes' three-yard line. The hand is to Pearson. Bust oh, loose. He's got the yard line. He's free. Sauer in a foot race has the angle. And he pushes him out of bounds at the 35-yard line. Pepe Pearson rested more today as Wiley and Keller have been used at running backs. Comes up with a huge bailout run. Jackson wants to run hard. Good lead block by the fullback. Not a dominating block. Not the reason they broke the play. Good running right there. They blitzed from the outside. He ran through some arms. He has excellent speed. They say he's the fastest tailback they've had there in years. He demonstrates it right here on this run. Look it down. Here comes the pressure from the Sun Devils. Wiley. Wiley steps free. Oh, if he had just maintained his balance, he was gone. There was pressure coming up from that side of the defense, and Wiley had the hole. Right here as he goes in. He's been doing it for a long time. Number 39. Pow! Look at that block. Nobody wins. Nobody loses. Running back advances the ball. Rip. Matt Keller, who's been a big player in this game, is back in as the lone running back behind Jackson. Wiley's out as a wide receiver. Oh, Almost pass intercepted. Tillman. That's pass interference. Came through Stanley. I still don't see a flag down. No, he interfered with him. In my opinion, from up here, Brent. Good kicker. Locked. Locked. Loose. Sun Devils. He flipped it. And the big fellow Rogers is rolling. There is a penalty flag down, however, so hold on. Bernstein deflected it. And after possession by Arizona State, during the run back, an illegal forward pass against the returning team, five-yard penalty from the spot of the foul, first down. 94 right there. Turns his body. He's a loosey-goosey guy for a six-foot-eight guy. Now Jake Plummer quickly at the line here on first down. Throws back left deep. Got his pull, and it's broken up at the last instant by Sean Springs. There, that a great shot. Look at that right hand. Get an instinct to see. He was watching his eyes. He was watching his eyes. Second and ten, and it's Redmond. Redmond. Comes back, and you can see the infraction here. The forward pass, it was ruled on this play. Rogers out running Josh Jackson. Plummer's got pool and pool now with his first catch, and it is big. A first down for the Sun Devils here at the 448 mark. And here comes Jake the Snake one more time. You don't normally look back into the quarterback. You normally concentrate a little bit more on that receiver. Even more strong safety. Runner gets away, drops it to Polk. Safety valve, and they make the most out of nothing. Pick up a couple of yards on that. You know, they got what they wanted out of the formation. They just... And now it is third and five. Plummer 
Couldn't get it this time. Fourth down in a season coming up. And Bruce Snyder calls timeout in the rain in Pasadena. Everybody, we bring in 1997 here on ABC. Let's just hope that Florida and Florida State, as dramatic as this one has been here in Pasadena, facing fourth and four, the Sun Devils trailing Ohio State by four points, 14 to 10. That's the running back, and Boyer's the motion receiver. Here, Here the comes blitz. the blitz. They go one-on-one -on -one against Howard. Got it. Got it. First and goal for the Sun Devils. It is Lindsay Jackson, number 83, who makes perhaps the biggest play of the season against number two, Ty Howard. Think pressure inside. He's going to play him right there. No hand contact. Throwing the ball nicely over that outside shoulder. See, perfect throw. Can't do it any better. Tough to cover that one. Three wide outs for Plummer, and Bush is the tight end on the right-hand side of the formation. Plummer hit by Belisari. Held on to the football, wrapped it up. It'll be third and goal from the 11-yard line as Belisari comes backside, and Snyder uses his second timeout. They used a throwback pass to Jake Plummer in the same stadium against UCLA. They're coming again. Plummer in trouble, steps away, cuts free, breaks loose, five, touchdown, Sun Devils. Woo! The snake does it again. This team won't die. You can cut a snake's head off, but he continues to live. Woo! Now, 140 to go. Jake the Snake and the amazing Sun Devils of Arizona State have stated their case, at least offensively. They have done it all year. That is their personality. They persevere, no question. When you're in blitz coverage, there's nobody on the quarterback. This is not a draw. He scrambles up inside. No one there to take him. Here goes Cotton Moyer up inside. He can't get to him. Elusiveness right there. Determination. Finkus comes over. Now just guts running and instincts to know where that end zone is. Look at him. Stick it in there. He's done it before. Wow. If I were John Cooper right now, I would be almost ready to die. What a minute. Look at this. No, he's not a rattlesnake. He's more like a cobra. <laughs> and when he strikes, it hurts. It hurts. Back in October, Jake did it in a fourth quarter just like he's done it here against UCLA. Through for a touchdown. Ram for a touchdown. Not a pass for a touchdown. But now, Arizona State's kicking team needs to hold up against Sean Springs and Demetrius Stanley. Third down and 10 for Jermaine and the Bucks. Got it to Stanley. That's a first down. And it stops the clock in college, remember, on the first down. Cheers. away from the pressure. There he's got it. Stanley again, and the clock will stop. Now the Buckeyes are only 40 yards away. And remember, because of the overtime rule, a field goal puts us into overtime. They have to try to win it here in the last 53. Jermaine got him again. Stanley out of bounds inside the 30-yard line. And they've stopped the clock as they go out of bounds, and they'll move the chains on the first down. Jermaine got a man no to stop. Play was stopped before the snap. That's why Stanley was not looking in. He knew that it had been whistled dead. I think Jermaine started to pull out, as did the tight ends move when he started to jerk out of there. Dead ball foul. False start. A one on one against Simmons. And there's a penalty flag on the play. But that's what it is. Yes, indeed. That's a 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down in the college game. And now this moves Jackson back clearly within his range in the closing moments of this Rose Bowl. Fake looks back the other way. It's open if he wants to run. 
He threw it incomplete. There was an alley wide open. He could have run all the way to the 10 yard line. He might have run the thing in the end zone. There was nobody there, Brent. They were covered back there. They were doubling the outside by. Coming after him. Jermaine calmly Pass fires high. Pass interference. Gee. Yeah, I wouldn't say that too, Stanley. Looked like he had a hold of him. That's good. Count of 10. Ball just inside the 20 yard line now. Over the middle, incomplete, and there's the flag. Well, I didn't call it last time. I think I'll call it this time. That's an automatic first down. There it is, Sauer, number 32, playing inside technique there. He comes back underneath it. There he is. Just hooks him. <laughs> There's no way you can get away with that anywhere. Unless you're on the other side of the field. Pass in the field. On the defense. 15 yard penalty. First down. From Pepe. Jermaine going to throw it wide open. Got him, but guys lead it. 19 seconds to go. And the freshman, David Boston, with his second touchdown pass of the game. The freshman mistake. Again, to the right side of your screen. Good time. No pressure on him. Throws it wide to the outside. All alone. Courtney Jackson acted like he had some help. I think it was a long thing again. Well, I do believe it. He has left them within field goal range with his second block kick here in the fourth quarter. You can. I agree with okay. that. Here is the kickoff now. They're going to put it in Redmond's hands at the 15-yard line. Can they get a return? Alley right side out to the 34-yard line. Arizona State with one timeout left. And 14 seconds, and the one fellow that they want to stay away from is number 24, Sean Springs. Back in a prevent defense. And Jake throws for the first down to Bush. He'll get out of bounds, stop the clock at the 47-yard line. Just seven seconds left and one timeout. So they need one long completion here. Then coach. They should be three deep across there or four deep across. They're three deep across in the secondary. On a quick count. Middle got the first down. Jackson's got to get down. They got to stop it. Time has run out. Ohio State beats Arizona State. The Sun Devils dream comes to an end in Pasadena, but not before they put on a heck of a fight. Bruce Snyder's Sun Devils give it up in the last 30 seconds. The presentation is coming up. The Buckeyes earned this trophy. They did it the hard way against a great performance by Jake Plummer. Villasore with a hug for his fallen comrade as Ohio State wins it 2017. We'll be right back.